in the latest effort by the government to stop the housing market slide. More than 2 million Americans could receive money from a $25 billion relief package from the nation's biggest banks. Our investigations revealed disturbing practices. For instance, we saw that far too often, servicers pushed borrowers into foreclosure. They fueled the downward spiral of our economy. The nationwide settlement actually comes from after the housing bubble burst, where many companies that process foreclosures didn't verify documents, and in some cases, forged signatures. That called robo-signing. The banks involved in the deal are Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, and Ally Financial. Four million Americans have foreclosed since the beginning of 2007. Real estate brokers like Keith Wolf outside Chicago welcomed the relief package, but is still skeptical. So th this could be the change in the tide that allows the markets to recover, or it could just be more of the same stagnation and sideways market movement. It's hard to tell. The deal requires the banks to reduce loans for about one million households at risk of foreclosure. The lenders will also send checks of $2,000 to 750,000 Americans who are improperly foreclosed upon. <laughs> oh, it's tough. For Tamara Hescott, the settlement is too late. Her home is worth nearly 80000 less than what she bought for seven years ago, and she was having a hard time making the payments. By the time she was considered for a loan remodification, Wells Fargo had already decided to start the foreclosure process. But with the help of an attorney, she is instead settling for a short sale, though the emotional toll on the family has been difficult. So because I feel like I failed my kids. But I know I have, and I know I've been a good parent, and I know that this too shall pass, and there's always better things in the future, but I hope that Wells Fargo and a lot of these other banks that have been giving so much difficulty and trouble to these families who could make some sort of payment, that they would be willing to see where we're going and honestly be more honest. It will also provide immediate relief to homeowners. The deal still needs final approval by a federal judge. If signed off on, this is the largest government industry settlement since a multi-state deal with the tobacco industry in 1998. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Chicago.